All right, so we're riding over here. Once again, big open lane, so I'm more concerned about merging incidents. Okay, so there's a merging incident. So we moved over, good job adapting to that. We're gonna probably move back in, very good. Is that what the issue's gonna be? Seems like a non-issue to me. It happens. Okay, we're not next to other vehicle or them, so we have our cardo pack talk so we can communicate with everybody saying, hey, I got in, I'm in the back, I'll catch up to you guys. For some unknown reason, one of the drivers decided to react in a nervous way, which ended quite badly for him. Oh no. Okay. Drivers are riders in a nervous way. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. So that was an obvious movement to the side. Who knows? We don't know what the issue is. Now, once you see somebody do that, you see the first reaction for this rider that has the cameras to get up on him? My first reaction is, this person's unstable, move away. It's like, let's antagonize. Let's do it. Look, broken mirror, probably, right? Somebody decided to punch their mirrors. What do you think's gonna happen? I wouldn't be right behind the rider or the driver. They could back up into us off look he's gonna cut this person off he just cut that person off he's cutting everybody off terrible 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 driving now it looks like the mirror is down right there so it happened probably let's see oh look at the mirror is still good i think that's the same driver no oh maybe that's what happened right there i think that's a yep that's a let's see Yep, so there's a rider getting off to the left side. Okay, 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 we're doing some investigations. Okay, so the rider right here is going to come around. Let's see. Somebody, yep, somebody just went around. Get me out of the way, Daniel, come on. Somebody did something. And now it's all, now it's all the car driver's fault for doing that, right? Swerving into them. This is, I don't like this. I don't like group rides that do stuff like this because you're just antagonizing everybody and it's, oh, we're the ones in danger. It's just a mirror. I, I just, ugh. You guys just don't do it. Don't do it, you won't have these issues. You broke their mirror, and you wonder why. You wonder why people get pissed. Wonder why people get pissed. Now look at this, we're not paying attention, we're focused on this driver because we're so pissed off about it. And look what we're gonna do. We got this, uh, I think it's a Land Rover or something, coming in, going fast, right? And look what we're going to do. So we're so focused on the wrong things, we just cut in front of them. We don't, we're not, we're not focused on the, on the things that we need to be doing. And this is a terrible group ride. This is a mob ride. Don't do this. All right, moving on with this one. Doing highway speeds, non-issue. Got sun in the eyes. Watch out. Big open lane for us. Okay, moving over. Open lane. Watch out, watch out. Merge, 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 merge. Red lights. Good job. I wasn't paying attention. You weren't paying attention. Are we just, is this just the piss Daniel off day? We weren't paying attention. We we're riding at highway speeds. We're looking in our mirrors. We weren't looking ahead. I saw it, right? I saw it. You saw it. Because what we're doing is we're looking for hazardous situations because we know that this is what's happening. We know we're watching MotoStars. We know we're watching this. We know they're close calls. We know they're crashes. We know this, right? Because we're focused on the hazardous situations when these people are riding. When these people are riding, they're focused on their friends. They're focused on their mirrors. They're focused on their music. They're focused on the, all the fun stuff that they think they're having. But they're not focused on the hazardous situations. The fact that you guys, this classroom, is coming in and thinking, we're here to look for hazardous situations. We're here to look for things that could be coming out and grabbing us, making sure you guys are signing in by hitting that like button, okay? Make sure you do that. So here's the thing. We are focused on hazards. So when you're riding, make sure you focus on hazardous situations. You'll see the hazards if you focus on the hazards. Right here, 
mirror. He's looking at his mirror. He's looking at his mirror. He's got the sun in his eyes. He's not riding with the conditions present. We see the brake lights up ahead with that vehicle. We're not looking ahead. We're looking at our mirrors. That's why the camera angle is shifted. All right? We see that person in our lane already because we're looking ahead, right? Think about that. You're looking ahead, searching for these hazards, and you're finding them. I get it. Yeah, we're not in the same situation. We're not controlling the bike. We're able to focus. We're able to... But that's the thing. When you get to a point with your training that all you have to do is focus ahead and focus on the situation at hand, you're not focused on, on your, your motorcycle. You're not focused on shifting. You're not focused on throttle. You're not focused on body position because you train so much, right? You're not focused on it. It's automatic now. So now all you have to do is use your brain power to look ahead. You see these things then. You see these things, but if you are so good at your motorcycle and you don't look ahead because now you're using that extra brain power to look at your friends, to do ego stuff, to do wheelies, to do all these extracurricular things, and you never have enough time to look ahead, you're not focused on the right things. So he slammed the brakes. He's going to swerve because he has good fundamental skills. Just wasn't paying attention. Gets pissed. He's able to rev bomb and smack a mirror at the same time. So there is a level of skill, right? Of controlling the motorcycle. But we're pissed. Why? Because we got surprised. We're agitated because we got surprised. So when people say, well, Dan, Dan, I don't want to watch your channel because it makes me nervous. And I don't like being nervous when I ride. I ride to relax. I'm telling you, you can relax and you can have the greatest time riding if you stop getting surprised. How do you stop getting surprised? By paying attention, looking ahead, scanning for hazards. When you see the hazard ahead of time, you're never surprised. Look at, we're not paying attention ahead of us. We're, we're doing illegal lane filtering now. Come on, new riders. If you want to know how to ride effectively and smart, make sure you grab the Smart Rider Basic Training ebook. I talk about how to plan your ride, what the Smart Rider principles are all about, the color code chart, what patterns to look for, how to rescue another rider. Anyways, you got to just check it out. Make sure you click the link in the description. There's a discount code. It's the cheapest it's ever going to be. Only 500 people are going to be able to get the code. So make sure you grab yours now. All right, let's get back into the video. We're riding around. We're right in the blind spot. Watch out. We're in the blind spot. Big open lane in front of us. Closed lane here. We got to watch out for this person. Did a good job. He adapted to the hazard, moved over, but in a better position, allowed him in and hit the brakes a little bit. Did a good job. But we need to be a little bit more situationally aware on that. So let's take a look at this. Now we talk about this all the time. We talk about this all the time. We just talked about it in today's live stream. Okay? We are in the blind spot. This is not a good area to be staying in. So if I were you, I'd move off a little bit more or I'd move with a purpose and get in front. Okay? So right now we're doing okay. Right now we're doing okay. We're just kind of enjoying a ride. Now the situation has changed. This vehicle has gotten further up. This vehicle is slowing down. This vehicle witnesses this area, sees this open opportunity, cannot see you because we're in the blind spot. That is the situation. That is the situation. We got to watch out for that. So if we see this whole area, big open lane, opportunity to move in front of us, blind spot can't see us. Not good. Not good. So for the road strategy that we're trying to do here, planning our ride. Plan your ride, position yourself for safety, locate this hazardous pattern, right? Big open area, locate the hazardous pattern, adapt to that. So all we have to do is move up here so we're staggered, right? Or decelerate so we're out of the blind spot. And if we have to, navigate a threat if it comes at us. Now lane position one, two, and three. Lane position one would be a bad spot. That's bad for position for safety because we don't have a good... Uh, escape route or space cushion. We have good line of sight. That's a good thing. So what I would do is I'd move over to lane position three or closer to this area 
if I was going to be passing this vehicle, just in case they start coming over, it allows me to escape or accelerate and have a big space cushion between me and this vehicle. Okay, you're constantly adapting for best space cushion, escape route, vision, your line of sight. Okay. So watch this. He's going to move over to lane position three. Did a great job. As soon as he sees this coming, he moves over and he decelerates. He moved over a different lane position, decelerates. He didn't fight for it. He didn't kick a door. He didn't smack a mirror. He moved over, and he still has the shoulder if he needs to. But right now, we're doing good because all we did was move over and apply some progressive brake pressure. Allows him in because he's going to win, and then honks the horn. Now that he's out of danger, honk the horn all you want. I don't care if you rev bomb. Actually, I do care if you rev bomb because you don't have power now to your rear wheel. So just honk. Did good. Did good. Now we got to watch out for new situations. Once we go through that, watch out for new situations. Watch out for this vehicle. Watch out for the blind spot again. You see what I mean? You're constantly evaluating the new situations you're constantly in. All right, lane filtering. Watch out. Watch out. No escapes left and right. Very, uh, there you go. That's a big issue. Big open lane, right? Big open lane. Be very careful. Very careful. He did look. He saw it. He did see it. He just made a decision and then saw you. All right, right here. Moving on. Same thing. Big open lane. Stuck behind a semi. What's going to happen here? We're getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. Blind spot. Okay, good. We're out of there. Good. Was the issue of the, the tire in the road? We also got road surface hazards. I think the tire was in the road. So let's take a look. Now, this is a scary situation. You got to watch out. Got to watch out. Oh, we're nowhere near 8,000 members. So something in the roadway. So if that uh, vehicle on your right had to swerve left, they would have hit you. You see what I mean? So don't stay next to people. Whether it's the pattern or road surface, you just don't stay next to people. You did a good job. He did a, he did a preemptive swerve. You see that? Preemptive swerve. Yeah, he could have swerved in front of you. He did a preemptive swerve to get over here just in case. Because that vehicle right there on the shoulder probably dropped something out of the back. Did a good job. Did a good job. Now, the only thing he didn't do a good job on, you guys know what I'm going to say, right? You know what I'm going to say, right? Come on, get yourself a rock form mount. Get yourself a rock form mount. You don't have to deal with these little tether things. Come on. You don't have to deal with the little tether things. Get magnets and everything. Come on now. Use the link in the description for 25% off. All right, so we're riding around. Loud pipes don't save lives. I was almost sideswiped by a car driver. Hey, look at that. It's loud pipes, right? Hopefully this car driver sees. What is the pattern? It's big open lane in our lane, right? This lane is being blocked by that truck in front. This person probably doesn't like it, wants to get into our lane. Good job rolling off the throttle, which is going to be engine braking, allowing that person in. You did a good job. It's up to you if you want to rev bomb or honk after that. So let's talk real quick about this. Now, this is the pattern, okay? What I do like about this is this is loud pipes don't save lives. I agree with that. Uh, auditory is just one way to get somebody's attention. Visual is the most common way for humans to actually get attention. So high vis gear, but moving too, okay? Because we talk about motion induced blindness and motion induced things grab your attention. If I sit still like this, you think I froze. But if I'm constantly moving, it's easy to see me, right? So movement is very important. Visual is very important. But right here, this is the pattern I want you to, to see. Now, it says I was almost sideswiped by a car driver. It helped us out a little bit there. Now, this is the pattern. Big open lane. We have good vision. We love it. Big open lane. We're in that lane for that reason. If you are near vehicles that could possibly get into your lane, anticipate that. Now, why would this vehicle want to? If you're this white vehicle and you're behind that truck, and you saw to your right, that lane looks wide open. Wouldn't you want to get into that lane? Yes, you would. That's why we're in this lane. We, we switch to the most comfortable lane. We switch to the lane with the, that's wide open. So if we're riding, when we talk about motion-induced blindness, we talk about inattentional blindness, we talk about how we're invisible, right? 
So if we know that and we see this pattern right here, we see this vehicle, we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer. They're stuck behind this truck. They're stuck behind this truck. We have an open lane. We have an open lane. But right here, we should start thinking to ourselves, and I want to see you guys write it in the comments if you do this already, because we do talk about this in the Smart Rider ebook. Right here, this pattern is going to let you know, hmm, that person might switch into my lane. I got to be pretty careful. I got to be kind of careful. I'm either going to get next to them in their blind spot and get out, or I'm just going to sit here and wait for them to do this. I want to know what you guys think, because I've, I've sat right here before, and I've seen they're going to get into my lane right here. And boom, they do. And sometimes I even let them in on purpose, because I know they're going to do it anyways. I'd rather them do it in front of me versus when I'm next to them. So be very careful about this pattern right here, because we're boxed in. You can't swerve to the right. You can't swerve to the left. You can only accelerate, decelerate in this situation. Planning your ride, position for safety. You need to have a good space cushion, good vision. We got that right now, but our escapes are terrible. So I'm like, mm, I'm, mm, I'm going to let them in. Last second, they're going to indicate. Now, right here, what this person's doing is rolling off the throttle and then rev bombing. So rolling off the throttle, pull, he's pulling in the clutch, and then he's rev bombing. Okay, so what you should be doing here is just roll off the throttle, apply a little bit of progressive brake pressure if you need to, but then just maintain your speed and allow them to get in front. Position yourself for safety again for this new situation. All right, doing some wheelie. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Make sure you hit that like button, by, by the way, everybody. All right, let's see if we can get 500 likes on this. Oh, oh, good view. Okay, okay, well, let's play around with this one a little bit. Maybe this one could be a medical review. We could talk a little bit about road rash. And the fact that we will be talking about road rash a little bit on this one, uh, it's probably demonetized. So if you want to support this channel and you want to learn something new and you want to have a sweet ebook to where you can learn how to be a smart rider, grab the Smart Rider Basic Training ebook. Link is in the description. Link is right there. Just grab it. All right, so we're going to be doing some wheelies. We're going to go a little bit uh, past noon on this one. Go to about 7 o'clock. So hands first, typical, right? Thankfully, we have gloves. Oh, now our elbow hit. Okay, so we have level one road rash, level two road rash, level three road rash, and even level four, okay? So if you think of first degree burn, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, it's the same thing. The first degree, sec first through four uh, degree burns, you think of flames, you think of fire, okay? So that's a thermal burn. Right here, we have a friction burn. Think of a carpet burn, okay? It's still friction, so friction creates heat. So you're still gonna have the heat involved, but you got abrasiveness. So now think about sandpaper. So sandpaper removes things through abrasiveness and it can heat up if you have the wrong type of sandpaper and you're pushing really hard, okay? So with this one, what's happening is we're gonna hit the ground. So level one road rash is gonna be that top layer of your skin. Think of like the little parts where just a little bit of the hair, just a little bit ripped off. Nothing too bad, you know, a little bit red like a sunburn almost. Second degree, you get that raspberry. You know, anybody sliding to first base, home base, whatever it is. Uh, I don't play uh, basketball. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of that debris kicked in. You know, anybody falling, you know, rollerblade and get their knees, you know, scuffed up. You got a little bit of rock in there. That's, that's pretty much second degree, all right? Uh, third degree or third uh, is going to be where you have the fatty tissue fox gramming. Welcome. A little bit of fatty tissue, a little bit of the epidermis. So you have now your nerve endings ripped off. Now you have. You know, your sweat glands kind of ripped off a little bit. That's a no bueno situation. That's when you start seeing flesh coming out. Fourth degree, you're going to start removing muscle, tendons, ligaments, maybe a little bit of bone. Uh, no bueno. No bueno. So right here, hopefully it's only going to be first degree but because we're rolling, right? Well, if we're rolling, look, at, he's got tear in his knee already. Where do we usually have, where do we usually have armor? Knees, elbows, shoulders, hips, all right? Head, back right? So, and then gloves, but that's where it impact protection, okay? Impact protection. Nobody got the reference with basketball and, and baseball? Okay. I guess nobody plays. Um, moving over here. So, he's able to walk around. It's like, oh, he's not that hurt. You can still be pretty dang hurt. Uh, adrenaline's a hell of a drug. So, you can kind of see a little bit of discoloration on the outside of that elbow. It could just be from the lighting and everything, but 
uh, or dust, but that's typically what a first and second degree burn looks like. A second degree burn has a blister. This right here, that looks like the, uh, the epidermis. I'm not the epidermis, but the dermis. The epidermis is on the top. Dermis is right underneath. And that's where your nerve endings are kind of situated. So they're very painful. So we're going to get over here. You got it, Draco, right? Yeah, Justin. Yeah, you got it. All right, so right here, we're moving over here. This is what he's wearing, okay? So we don't have any gear other than a helmet. We don't even have eye protection. Now, why don't we have eye protection? Because look at around you. It is sunsetting, you know, it's in dusk time, so it's hard to see with a tinted visor. That's why we flipped it up. Guys, we need to be thinking. We need to be thinking. We need to have good eyesight, okay? So we need to have our shields on. We have eye protection. We have head protection and glove protection. That's it. We need to protect the rest of our body. I play basketball. You guys still don't get it? All right. Anybody play basketball? Anybody watch basketball? All right, so there's going to be the road rash. So he's going to be sliding across the ground, impact his back, all over the ground, lots of impacts, lots of problems. Get yourself some gear. We have links in the description for gear, beginner gear list. If you like today's video, make sure you click this video right here to keep watching more. But if you want to become a smart rider, click this and grab this smart rider basic training ebook. It's going to help you become a smart rider by planning your ride, rescuing other riders, knowing what patterns to look for, and so much more. Make sure you grab it. Link will be in the description also. I'll be seeing you around.